Hello, hi everybody. It's Colleen with Chalk Couture. Oh my goodness. Trying to keep my cord out of my chalk paste while we go ahead and get our iPad going. Oh, what the heck? Oh, there we go. That was weird. All right, let's get this shared and then we will get going. There we go. All righty. So we are coming in with another Valentine's. I know it doesn't look like it, but um, it really is. It's going to be a Valentine's, I promise. We are using this amazing transfer that is so versatile. I've done so many projects, and I'm going to bring it back in again for Valentine's because I made a uh, wedding sign out of it. I made Christmas. I've done, obviously, Halloween, so many different things that we can do with this amazing transfer. It does not have to be Halloween, so just don't chalk the October 31st and put something else in its place in the circle, and now you have something brand new to work with. So let's just go ahead and dive in. I um, have become obsessed with the buttermilk and candy apple red combo, so we are going to try that again tonight. And we're going to hope that after this week that I have had with my lives, that we're going to get at least one in here that isn't a hot mess express. We're, we got our fingers crossed on that one. We'll see what happens. If not, no worries. We can always correct any mistakes that we might have. If you're on and watching the replay, hello and welcome. Again, we're going to be using the October 31st transfer, but changing it up to Valentine's. So, um, let's just go ahead and get started. So I added a little bit of water to my buttermilk and stirred it up so that it's got that nice yogurt-like consistency. This is one of our old, it's called a bracket board, and I have um, one of my favorite sentiments on the back of it. So I'm going to chalk on the other side of it and um, go ahead and get started with this and make it Valentine's. So I'm going to grab a pretty healthy amount. I want to make sure that I wasn't feeling any bubbles, which, oops, let me set you back in because I actually just feel a bubble. So I'm going to just use this actually to straighten that out. I want to make sure that you're not feeling any bubbles in your silk screen area. And this has been my nemesis all week with the bubbles. So... Hopefully, tonight's project will be okay. Whoops, there went the old iPad. And I think I actually messed up my silk screen right here in this little spot. So that might be a problem, but we shall see. Let me pull this cord out of the way, because that's making my iPad fall over. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Now that I feel a little bit better that I'm not feeling any bubbles, so let's go ahead and try this again. I'm going to grab a healthy amount on my squeegee, and we're just going to cover the silk screen areas. So I'm going to just grab that and pull that straight down. See how easy that was? I just went right over the line. Same with the first line. Just applying a little pressure, and there are bubbles. Oh my goodness gracious. What is it with me and bubbles this week? All right, when I apply a little pressure, I'm just going to pull off some of that excess. I think I am going to do the circle, too. So the little circle, I'm going to do that in the buttermilk as well. So we'll just pull that straight across. And again, I'm not using the October 31st. I'm just chalking the lines on here and the circle. And then I'm going to replace the inside of the circle with a different design. Working kind of quickly so I let my chalk paste doesn't dry on here. Just gonna do that circle, finish up that circle, and then we can move right along. Now, I can pull the bottom up if I'd like, but I'm trying to be sort of quick, so hopefully that's not gonna dry on me. Let me get another good, healthy amount on here, and we'll just try to make quick work of these last two lines and then I'll be able to pull it up in one fell swoop. A little bit more. We are almost done. Like I said, when you apply the pressure, it really does just make it slide and glide right across. Get all that excess back off. 
make sure there's no lines in there and then any excess goes right back into your jar so let's go ahead and reveal pull this back and again I knew I had a bubble over here which I can see that bled through a little bit because I clearly did not have my transfer down good I think this actually might have hit its limit to this transfer then my pan of water right next to me I'm going to grab a q-tip and clean up this and sadly I may have used and gotten a life span out of this transfer because I can see it's bleeding and I know that when I used it one time I think I stretched some of the silk screen womp womp. this might be our last project with October 31st transfer so let's make it a good one just gonna clean up that little mess here that I made and all I did was wet a q-tip and I just take care of any little boo-boos okay get our last one here Alrighty. and then we'll get this dried real quick And then we're gonna go ahead and put our Valentine design in the center. How fun! I hate to see this transfer go because it's so versatile. But the good news is, is that it actually is still available in our in my online store. So I might actually go on and snag another one because I want to keep making different, changing up the colors and using the bars and changing it up for every different holiday. That's how amazing this one is. So this typically would dry on its own in about three to four minutes. I'm just speeding up the process. And you can use a hair dryer or a heat tool, whichever you like. And again, like I said, I'm just speeding up the process because we're doing this live. I'm clean up that little mess there. I left some residue down there. Let's see. We are pretty good. That is nice and dry. I can run my hands all over that. I'm going to grab another Q-tip and just clean up because that's going to dry me batty. Just got some excess here. Clean that up. And we'll clean this up right there okay there we go now I'm going to use the vintage truck add-on which um, I used the other night in a project and it's perfect because it has Valentine's St. Patty's Easter and summer flowers all in one set it's pretty awesome and it's coming back to my online store next week so that's why I figured let's take a couple little pieces from it and make this Valentine's so that's what we're gonna do so I'm gonna use the candy apple red for my hearts we'll just put them in right here and then we've got our cute little XOXO and put that in down here at the bottom And then remember, we labeled the back of our transfer so that we know which side to return it to. Let's grab another squeegee and I can make quick work of getting the hearts and the XO covered. And I think I might grab the arrow from here too and maybe put that on the bottom. Let's see, we'll see how that's gonna work get these guys done first and then we'll see about that oh that red is beautiful so pretty okay let's push down the XO it looks so good with the buttermilk too oh my gosh my new my new favorite color combo okay we've got our XO XO covered no lines in there oh my goodness how pretty that looks let's see about putting some more on here huh to jazz that up let's dry that real quick I might throw an arrow in there too let's see because it feels like it needs some more okay. that 
is good and dry. So let's move along. Hello, Norma. I'm wondering if, let's see. I wonder if I could fit, darn it. I probably should have thought of this first. Probably can't fit love in here now. I might have another love, but let's try this. Let me see the arrow that is also in here. I might be able to get that right through the center. Let's see. Let's give it a go. Should be able to get that right through here. All right. I think I might do this in another color. Let's think, what color? Or should I just do it in red? Since I have the red. I kinda feel like I want it to do another color, but let's just try red. Again, because I'm going on top of the buttermilk, I'm kind of being liberal with the red, hoping that we don't have the same issues that I had last night, but I probably will. Let's see. Hopefully it was dry enough and I'm not gonna pull up the bottom. Let's see. Success, it was dry enough. Whew. Not gonna lie, I was holding my breath on that one for a minute. All right, let's see. And again, this is all from the vintage truck add-on. These little guys in the center here, which is so adorable. It still needs more. Let's see what else we got. What else can we do to jazz this up? Let's see. We do have some hearts. What else do we have here? I have some cute little hearts that I could just put around the board. That might be fun. Let's try that. So I'll just pop a couple of these randomly around the board. Let's do that. If you put a nice thin coat, you can kind of pick up and put down a couple times. There we go. Get a couple of these around. Do some right here maybe. Let's grab a little bit more red. I think this is what it needed. I like it. I like it. It needed the pops of red around with the little hearts. Do one more. And maybe one more. And then I have a cute little heart. We'll probably pop some of those in. And then all you need to do is add some really cute Valentine ribbon. And you are set. You've got a nice homemade Valentine that you created yourself by just mixing and matching a couple transfers, kind of thinking outside the box using the October 31st transfer and turning it into Valentine's. How fun is that? It's all about just, like I said, kind of thinking outside the box, trying something different, mixing and matching. I'm gonna get a smaller squeegee because this one's too big for this little guy. Let's grab a smaller one here. And we'll just pop a couple little small guys around. That's fun. Love it. No rhyme or reason. I'm just putting it down and chalking it real quick. I like the arrow in the center too. I'm so glad that that came out. So, so far, I think I broke my record my my horrible hot streak this week of being a hot mess in all my videos. So maybe that's a good sign. Maybe that means we're gelling and everything's kind of coming together. And that's okay, that happens. You know what? Not everybody's perfect. Sometimes you have good crafting days and sometimes not so much. All right, what do we think? I think I need a little heart here. A little cute little heart there too in the inside of the circle. Maybe one right here. 
Oops, I gotta get the bottom there. I missed the top too. There we go. I love it. I love it. It looks so cute. That's it, guys. I think I'm gonna leave well enough alone and then call it a finished project here. Just find some really cute ribbon. And I think that's all she wrote. I love it. Let's get these jars closed so I can go ahead and dry this real quick. All right, we didn't use that one. And then I'm gonna show you guys how you um, take care of cleaning your transfers real quick. Super cute, I love it. even have, I might even have some Valentine in there. Let's take a quick peek. If I can find it real quick, then we will use it. If not, I'll do it off camera. I thought I had some. Let's see. All right, maybe not. I know I definitely have might look cute. Doesn't necessarily have to be red, right? Hi, Eileen. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't have to be red, right? It could be, it could be checkered, right? That doesn't look too awful. Maybe we could try that. I, I swore I had some brown ones. too long because while I'm trying to dig for it, I know I have it. I just can't lay my hands on it right now. I think I might just go with the black and white since that's what I kind of got my hands on first. I think we might go that route and do the black and white. I love the buttermilk and the red together too, Eileen. All right, let's do that. I'll, I'll show, I'll put the ribbon on there and I'll, woo, I almost lost it. I'll put the ribbon on there and post a final pic of that. But let me get to the final, which is what I wanted to finish up tonight with showing you guys how to clean your transfer. So let's pull that off to the side. And I do still have the burlap string that that came with, so that's an option, but I really want to try to find that Valentine's ribbon. That I know I have. I've got it somewhere. So here we go. Here is all of our transfers in the bucket. Hello, Mary from Costa Rica. How are you doing? How is everything going in Costa Rica? That's awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead. And actually, you know what? I forgot. I opened up a board eraser. So I'm gonna use it, right? I'm gonna show you how easy it is to clean the board eraser. Makes quick work of cleaning your transfers. And it's no worries that these guys are touching in here because they're wet, so they're not sticky. No worries about that. So let's put these guys on our towel. So I'm just using the board eraser to kind of clean off the chalk from the front and the back of the transfer. And then I'm just sticking the transfer on a towel. Any old towel will do. And I'm putting them down sticky side up so that that way they will dry. There we go. Almost done. See how quick this makes it using this board eraser? I love these. Okay, look, got it all off. And remember, sometimes the red will stain, and that is perfectly okay. We do that one. Oh, that's it. All right, so we'll just get the buttermilk off of this. Oh, there, there's that little heart. That little guy was hiding in here. Oh, it's hot. Oh, my goodness, you know? I kind of, I don't know. I don't want to say it. I do, but I don't. I would give anything for hot weather, but then when I have hot weather, then I say, oh, hot weather. I'd give anything for fall, so 
I guess it's true. I'm never happy with what you have, but I am not a fan of the winter. Okay, I think we got all that off pretty good. I'm re you're ready to go home and chalk? How long have you been in Costa Rica, Mary? I know you're going through with chalk withdrawal, huh? Okay, let's get this last little heart. That's a cute little heart. And then, just grab our squeegees. It makes a nice pretty color in your water whenever you're using red and you're mixing it. Three day, oh, home Monday. Okay, that's not terrible. It's only three days away from chalk. And you get a nice break a little winter break there. That's awesome. I have never been to Costa Rica. I think the only places that I usually go are Florida to go to Disney World. That's about as far as my little self will go. But I am definitely looking forward to going to Texas in June for a convention. That I'm looking forward to. I've never been. I'm not a huge fan of flying, but I will for a convention. So that's exciting. So then all I'm doing is just getting any excess water off of the back and the front of the transfer. And since I use the board eraser, I don't really need to use the Clorox wipe if I don't want to. If I were starting to lose some of the sticky on the back of my transfer, I could use the Clorox wipe. Um, I kind of just wing it with that anymore, honestly, since now we're using the the board erasers to clean our transfers. I feel like if I if I need just that little extra something, then I will go in with the Clorox wipe or like especially on the bigger transfers, I tend to use a Clorox wipe more. But um, yeah, for these, for a project like this, I think it's fine. The board eraser gets your silk screen nice and cleared out, so there's no need really for the Clorox wipe. My body doesn't like trying. Yes, I can imagine that it would. I don't know how long of a flight that is for you, but typically I'm good. I think maybe, typically, you know, it's been a while since I've flown, but usually after about two and a half, three hours, I am so restless. I, I need to get off of a plane. Can't sit still that long. All right, so that's pretty much it. We got all that off. Oh, yeah, six hours, no can do. Unless it's Ireland. Then I will make do. Then I will take an out of van and sleep, hopefully. But yeah, oh, that's a long flight. But I'm sure it was a fantastic getaway, right? You still have a... Uh, what is it? What's today? Friday? Still have all day Saturday. Oh my God, that would be so awesome. I could just picture just having my toes in the sand and the beautiful water down there. Oh, that would be awesome. So all that I am doing is this is where labeling the back of your transfer comes back into play. You're going to make sure you're not putting the side that you labeled on the sticky side of your transfer because the side that you labeled is actually a paper side, and this is the shiny side, so this is what you want to match to your transfer. So there we go. I just try to make sure that there aren't any bubbles in the um, transfer once I put it back on its carrier sheet. But then you're pretty much good to go, and then that could be used again and again. Um, Unless you had a boo-boo like I did with my October 31st where I think I have reached its life expectancy with this transfer because it's been used and loved so much. Nice to get away, but I'm a big homebody. Uh, I think I agree with you on that one, Mary. I kind of feel the same way. But it is super nice to get away. You need that break every once in a while. You need that little change of pace and 
rejuvenation and relaxation. Okay, yeah, I can even feel, look, this barely has any sticky left. Oh, I'm sad to see this one go. That makes me so sad. I'm still keeping it, though. I refuse to throw away a transfer. Even if I have to use it on something smaller and not use the part, where is it now? Not use the part that I that I screwed up the silk screen. Even if I use it for these two lines, I'm not getting rid of it. I'm keeping it. Um, sure, I could buy another one. Oh, you're just my type. That's an awesome transfer. I actually considered using just my type um, for the inside of this, but I want to say that that is out of stock and retiring. Am I wrong about that, Mary? So that's why I didn't use it tonight, but I love that one. That one I will keep and use just for um, my own home decor pieces because it would make me sad to show it and then not, nobody be able to get it anymore. All right, so now we're on there. I'm not feeling any bubbles. And then I'm going to use that again. I promise you that will get used again at some point. So that's it. That's all there is to it. I mean, I think in today's project, the cleanup and me talking actually took longer than the actual project itself, which is back here. Look how pretty. It almost reminds me of a bumblebee. I don't know why. Oh, and look, 40 eraser to clean up chalk off of your desk. How awesome is that? Perfect. So that is it, guys. That is today. I keep running over my packaging with my chair. That's what crinkling noises. Um, so that is today's project. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm really happy with how it came out. I'm thrilled that we finally had a hit tonight and I didn't have any uh, boo boos. Really, not too many boo boos tonight. So, um, thanks again for watching. And if you're not currently a designer, I would be thrilled if you would hit the share button at the bottom left hand corner of your mobile device to get the Chuck Tour Love out there. And also, if you are not currently a designer and not in my VIP, I would love to have you in my VIP group. And that is where I offer specials and different things. So that's awesome to be a part of. Good night, Mary. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Have a great night. And, um, and then finally, if this is something you can see yourself doing, maybe you'd like to start 2019 being your own boss, earning some extra money, um, just type join below and I would be happy to tell you more about the amazingness with, um, joining Chalk Tour. So have a fantastic night. Enjoy Costa Rica and, um, to everyone watching on replay and on YouTube, I truly appreciate it and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.